Hi guys and welcome to a new video. In this video, we're going to test out the Microsoft Office Suite and how it works on the Apple M1 chips. I know many of you guys are using Microsoft systems or at least Microsoft systems in their companies. So there you have used Microsoft Word for documenting, PowerPoint for presenting and Microsoft Excel for some spreadsheet stuff. So as always guys, let's go in the internet and search for Microsoft office for mac all right guys let's switch over to the app store and download microsoft word i guess there is a bundle outlook yeah why not uh, let's get powerpoint and microsoft excel for spreadsheet and data analysis all right guys i will catch you when the download is finished all right guys so outlook is the first finisher so let's open up microsoft outlook and see how it will work all right, application is starting, so we are in the Get Started screen. I do have a subscription from my employer. Employer, employer, please, so I'm just typing those information in. All right, you're good to go. My subscription was found, so start using Outlook is the next step. All right, so just for some demo purposes to see if all emails are get loaded, I'm adding my Gmail account, which is now playing out for you guys. All right, so now my account is added to the Outlook client. It's setting the final things up, I guess. All right, my folders are already loaded. No, I don't want to add a new folder. All right, so all my emails are loaded. Yeah, there are surely more than 10. All right, so let's try and sending an email. Test email to see if the thing will come back. So I do get a notification here, dismiss. All right, so I just sent it the email and got it back. I see it on my computer, but I don't see it here which is interesting. All right, I got a couple of notifications on my phone. Sync status. All right, so Outlook is still synchronizing, downloading, yeah, that's a folder of mine. Uh, so I guess, uh, yeah, this could take up a couple of minutes. So let's, I guess, let's just wait and see if the other applications, how they are going. Oh, well, Microsoft Word is finished, so I'm not sure if we should switch over to Microsoft Word. I mean, Outlook is basically working. You can receive your emails, you see your folders. I can confirm you guys that you can send emails and see it on the other screen behind this one. So that's that's working fine. Um, yeah. Okay, let's hop on to Microsoft Word. Let's open the app, like Outlook, and see what will happen. All right, what's new screen? To get started. All right, guys, so let's create a new document and go for something. Those templates are not particularly big, but let's go to the research paper here. Let's hit up create. Everything, oh, that's pretty responsive, I have to say. Much faster than, than on my previous MacBook Pro 13 inch from 2020 with the Intel chips. I mean, you can drag images, no problem. I don't want to save it, place it in the middle. Hello, I am a heading. Yeah, I don't want to save it. I just keep pressing um, Command S for saving, but that seems to be working fine. Okay, let's make a comment, new comment. This should be a real heading. All right, comments was written. You see those. You can navigate. Let's go over to, let's say, design. Title, yeah, it's also doing its thing. Spell checking is working as well. So that's looking pretty good to me, guys. Let's add a watermark. Okay. Mm, okay. I have no idea what this watermark does. Okay, yeah, it's in the background ASAP. All right, guys, so Microsoft Word seems to be working just fine. Speed seems to be improved. I don't think that's an already optimized version for um, the new M1 chips or not. Um, I will figure it out and write it down in the comments. But so far, very impressed with the speed of Microsoft Word. Um, I probably never seen it this fast on such a tiny machine. So next up, we're going to Microsoft Excel. To see, yeah, starting screen, just fine. Let's go over to new. Uh, let's make somehow the invoice today. All right, guys, if you have seen, 
uh, that thing was pretty fast to start up. All right, so let's hop on with the amount 50, 40, 60. I know not that biggest calculation you will ever see in Excel, but as you guys have seen, it is working. Uh, let's go to tax rate, um, let's say 20, as it is in my country. Seems to be fine for me. So guys, uh, Excel is working. I mean, what should I say? Let's go over and say um, we want the descending. So those things are sorting just as fine. All right, so guys, as you have seen, Excel by itself, if you're just a usual desktop user, it's working fine. I'm not sure if our macros and the programming stuff, which you can do in the background is working. Uh, I don't have the ability to check that right now, but standard default usage of Microsoft Excel is just working fine. It's even faster than before, so that's a great achievement. All right, and the final part is Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's open up the application and see how, yeah, starting screen, like always, pretty nice. Go to new and let's go with mesh, which is looking pretty decent. We do have just only uh, one slide there. My presentation. I don't want to save that thing right now, guys. So let's go over here. Add a transition, morph. Uh, I have no idea. Let's go there. Uh, say uh, fade in. Okay, let's go into presentation mode. So presentation is loading up. Ah, sure, I should have my presentation two, my presentation three, so that we can actually see some different slides. Now it should start at the beginning. All right, my presentation. You see there is an animation fading in. My presentation two to three. It's just another transition. So. Microsoft's PowerPoint seems to be working fine as well. As again, I've seen in the other uh, applications, the startup is pretty fast. I'm, I'm really surprised to see that here, um, but it's a great, great uh, promise for the future that those applications are faster now. Uh, you can use transitions working fine, uh, application feels responsive. Just let a chart here. Surely I don't have any data. So that's opening up Microsoft Excel. All right, yeah, sure. Save. And you see there is a chart, so that's no problem at all. Let's go back in presentation mode, looking fine. Uh, let's go to presenter mode. If you do have any uh, notes there, or you can write notes. Hello, note. You can increase the font, you can minimize it. That's working fine as well. New slideshow, that's the usual normal view you guys see, which you are, or whom you are presenting to. So that's working fine as well. I don't want to save that. So and let's go back to, to Microsoft Outlook and oh, I closed it before. So, okay, now I get uh, the introduction, which I don't think I have seen before. Yeah, and here is our desk email from, from before. So I just uh, sent this email and received it back to the very same account, but emailing is working. You can receive your emails. I'm pretty sure calendar is working as well to get an, an entry here, so it seems to be loading up. Still synchronizing, a lot of emails there, but guys, um, thing is working, and that is uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Excel, and Outlook working on the new M1 chips um, flawlessly. I would say it's much faster than before with the old, um, at least with the 13 inch MacBook Pro. So guys, if you're just using those for Office, uh, you will be totally fine and happy to see such a good, good machine. And let's just quickly check the activity monitor. So we do see memory use 6.4 gigabytes. Uh, PowerPoint sitting on top of there, already closed Outlook and Word. Uh, swap usage 1.64 gigabytes. Uh, there seems to be a lot of, of information going on or misconception about the swap, but I will not go into detail into this yet. But you see the uh, usage of memory. And still, applications are loading up so fast that you don't notice anything. So guys, if you're just going for the 8 gigabytes like this, you will have no problems with those applications. Alright guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!